Well, hello, hello, everybody. Welcome to Mr. Krabby's Reading Corner. Today, we're going to be taking a peek at The Legend of Rock, Paper, Scissors by Drew DeWalt and pictures by Adam Rex. With me, I've got a cup of hot chocolate. It's got a little bit of cinnamon in there. And the next time, you know, mom, dad, aunt, uncle, grandma, grandpa, whoever you're with makes you a cup of hot chocolate, I suggest you put just a dash of cinnamon in there while you're making it. It totally changes the game. I'm going to take a sip really quick. I'm going to get that out of our way. We're going to get rocking and rolling here. One, two, three. Long ago, in an ancient and distant realm called the Kingdom of Backyard, there lived a warrior named Rock. Rock was the strongest in all the land, but he was sad because no one could give him a worthy challenge. Rock traveled to the mysterious forest of over by the tire swing, where he met a warrior who was hung on a rope and holding a giant's underwear. Drop that underwear and battle me, you ridiculous wooden clip man. I will pinch you and make you cry, War Rock Warrior. <clears throat> Rock versus Clothespin. Rock is victorious. Oh man, he's goobered. He's done for. How did the rock get up there so fast? He flew all the way up there like that. Goodness gracious. Even though Rock had even though he had won, Rock was still unsatisfied. So he journeyed on to the mystical tower of Grandma's favorite apricot tree. There he was met by an odd and delicious fruit. You, sir, look like a fuzzy little butt. What? I challenge you to a duel. Then let us battle. Rock versus Apricot. I will beat you, Rock, with my tart and taste sweetness. Oh, who's going to win? Who do you think? Do you think Rock's going to win? I think Apricot might win. What do you think? Let's see. Rock is victorious. Ah, I am smushed. And yet, smushing you has brought me no joy. Are you not entertained? They were entertained, but the battle had been too easy. So Rock left the kingdom of Backyard, still in search of a worthy foe. Meanwhile, in the Emperor in the empire of Mom's home office, on lonely and windswept Desk Mountain, a second great warrior sought the glory of battle, and his name was Paper. Even though he was the smartest warrior in all the land, he was also sad because no one could outwit him. He set out across Desk Mountain to find his match. There he met a large, and square monster. I'll gobble you up, the likes of you, and spit them out every day, little paper. Oh, then test, my, then taste my fury, giant box monster. Paper versus computer printer. No, not a paper jam. Paper is victorious. Oh man, I wouldn't put, I wouldn't put that kind of paper in a printer like that. I uh, he, he should have known what he was getting into. Having beaten the fiercest fighter of Desk Mountain, Paper climbed down to the pit of office trash bin, where he battled the most terrifying horde of creatures in all the land. The half eaten bag of trail mix. Oh no. All oh, the humanity you've got Yogurt dipped raisins, regular raisins. Oh, is that a cashew? That looks like a peanut. Is that an almond? Is that an M&M I see? Oh, no. 
paper versus half-eaten bag of trail mix. Oh, I saw a wizard. He's blotted out the... <coughs> He's blotted out the sun. Run for your lives, laddies. Oh, man, oh, man. Paper wins again. Can no one beat me? And so with a heavy heart, Paper departed the empire of Mom's home office. And at the same time, in the kitchen realm, in the tiny village of Junk Drawer, there lived a third great warrior. They called her Scissors. She was the fastest blade in all the land. She too was unchallenged. On this day, her first opponent was a strange and sticky circle man. Let us do battle, you tacky and vaguely round monstrosity. I will battle you, and I will leave you beaten and confused with my adhesive and tangling power. Scissors versus roll of tape. Snip, 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 snip. Scissors is victorious! Scissors forged on across the kitchen realm to the frigid wastes of refrigerator freezer. There she met the most fearsome adversaries yet. Dinosaurs made of frozen breaded chicken. I have come from the far reaches of kitchen to battle you, oh bizarre and yummy breaded dinosaurs. Bow down, our child pleasing shapes and flavors, sword master. No one can resist our crunchy awesomeness. Scissors versus <laughs> dinosaur shaped chicken nuggets. Dinosaur shaped chicken nuggets win? No, wait, they don't. Scissors is victorious again! I am so good that not even dinosaur shaped chicken nuggets can beat me? And so, Scissors, like rock and paper, before her, traveled beyond her own kingdom, seeking out a challenger who was her equal. Then one day, in the great cavern of two-car garage, Rock and Scissors came face to face. I hope you're wearing your battle pants, Rock Warrior. If by battle pants you mean no pants, but I'm willing to fight you, then yes. Yes, I'm wearing my battle pants, weird scissory one. Rock versus Scissors. <laughs> Look at all the missiles. Who wins? Against rock and scissors. Who wins? Well, let's find out. An epic and legendary battle ensued, but ultimately, rock is victorious. You may have you may have made me so happy by beating me. I wish I felt your joy, Scissors, for I have yet to meet a warrior who can beat me. Hi there. <laughs> Those are fighting words. Wait, what? Oh boy. Rock versus paper. <laughs> I love the face he's making there. That's great. This is the best day of my life. Thank you for winning, oh great knight of paper. Well, that's fine for you, but it looks as though no one will ever beat me. Not so fast, paper. Wait, what? Scissors versus paper! Snip! You beat me! Does he look happy there? I think he looks happy there. And the three great warriors hugged each other and danced for joy. They had became fast friends. Finally, they had met their matches. And they were so happy, in fact, that they began to battle again. 
Round and round they went, in the most massive and epic three-way battle of all time. And it is said that this joyous struggle still rages on to this very day. That is why children around the world, in backyards, on playgrounds, and yes, even in classrooms, still honor the three great warriors playing. Rock. Paper. Scissors. I messed up the voices. All the same, though, that was fun, huh? Oh my gosh. I really felt like I was in... I mean, like... Some sort of a Shakespearean drama there. I mean, the, the, the fighting between rock, paper, and scissors was just insane. Oh my gosh. That was so much fun. I'll tell you what. Let's do this. Let's play a game of rock, paper, scissors. You ready? Here we go. Let's see if I can get the angle right. You ready? All right. On, on, on rock, paper, scissors, right? Here we go. Rock, oh, it's, excuse me, rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Right? Here we go. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Did you beat me? Okay, well, if you beat me, ah, oh, dang it, you got me, you beat me. But if I won, ah, I bested you. Let's play another round. You ready? Here we go. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Did you beat me? Ah, oh, you beat me. I'm just heartbroken over it. What am I going to do? Ah, oh, jeez. But if I beat you, I got you again. Better luck next time. I had so much fun reading this. Drew DeWalt and Adam Rex did a great job making this book. Don't you think? I had so much fun reading it. It was so much fun to switch between the voices and kind of challenge myself. And that, that was a lot of fun. I hope you had as much fun listening to me as I did reading it. I think if we can pull anything away from this book, it would definitely be to never stop playing rock, paper, scissors. Thank you so much for listening. I will talk to you very soon. Goodbye.